Hello, I'm Leslie Logan, and we're doing High Bridge on the Reformer today. So this exercise is really tricky. Not everyone needs to do it. Um, I'm going to use a spotter today because I have trouble getting into the exercise. Um, so you know, just know that you can do it on the floor. Um, when it comes up in your reformer practice, you don't actually have to do it on the reformer, but if you can, it really does challenge everything that you learn about your arms being, connect being connected to your back, the reach in your legs. So while this isn't an exercise I typically do in my OBC classes, because it's a more of a super advanced exercise, it is one you should know exists. So two springs on, I have seen three springs, but once you're in, there's an exercise you want to do. So you don't want to have too much weight on. So you have your feet parallel on the foot bar, hands on the shoulder rest. You're gonna press yourself up and stop on the top of your head. And then you're going to push yourself up into position, great. And then once you're here, you move your arms forward and in and reach and in. And like, as you do it, it's pulling you more and more into the back bend. And then if you want, you can lift a leg up which I am going to try to do today. And then obviously you would switch and do the other side. You don't need to move the arms when you're doing that. And then to dismount, you bend your elbows. You lower yourself down. Thank you, sir. You come all the way in. So now that I'm upside down, let me explain. <laughs> your arms are connected to your back. So when they push on those shoulder rests, um, they actually, when you push into your shoulder rest, they actually help you lengthen your extension. And then as it closes, you reach it close, it pulls you deeper into it. And so it's really helping challenge, challenge your swan extension and all of the back bends that you can do with the straps. Uh, there's one on top of your head with the straps, and then there's also the headstand one, and there's the one after thigh stretch. So if you can do all of those, you should definitely give this one a try. So let me know how it feels. Definitely use a spotter if it's your first time. And, um, you know, subscribe to this channel for more exercises from us. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.